Hello, and welcome to an all new HDDR Entertainment episode. This time it's not a review or gameplay footage, but it's a showdown of my primary AG, the AK-105. This AK started out as a Saima 040B, and has since then transformed into my personal custom AK-105. Starting in the front, this AK features an LCT flash hider, which gives a nice, aggressive look. Further down the back, this AK has been outfitted with B30 and B31 Zenitco replica rails by Asura Dynamics. Quality-wise, this rail is outstanding, but it did require the use of a Dremel tool to make it fit. For easy use in the field, I fitted a Magpul RVG grip on this rail. I like this grip very much, because it isn't that large, but still has enough room to put your hands on, and it just feels comfortable. Further down the back we have the receiver. This piece is still stuck and hasn't been changed, so therefore is Simon made. On this receiver I have a PTS clone of the US Palm AK grip. This is a magnificent grip. It holds firmly, but it isn't that large and you can decently put your hands around it. The dust cover I changed with an LCT one. This LCT one, the PK242 if I'm not mistaken, has a rail on it. I wasn't able to put the entire assembly of the stop cover rail on my AK because LCT and Saima aren't fully compatible. As my sights, I'm using a GMP M2 red dot, which gives a nice clear reticle for a very low price. Since the rails make it hard to use the iron sights, I put on a set of new iron sights in case my battery of my M2 red dot dies. These iron sights are just cheap Chinese clones of some mad pool kind of iron sights. But they work pretty decent. Now let's take a look at more details of this gun. Specifically the parts that make this gun pretty easy to use. And highly increase the fastness in which you can operate with this AK rifle. First off we have the selector switch and trigger by Red Raw Arms. I really like the selector switch, since it enables me to operate with just the finger of my shooting hand. Further down below, I placed a magazine release extension. This piece also enables me to use it with the same finger as I use with my selector switch, making it a one-click rack release. To further increase my reloading speed, this AK has also been outfitted with my HDDR Airworks Macwell Spacer. A link to this product is put in the description. In case I don't want to use the foregrip, the magazines have been outfitted with some grip tape. This is just standard grip tape you can get from any do-it-yourself store. Just cut it the size and put it on your mags and it works flawlessly. This isn't directly the only place where I've put this grip tape. I also put it on the bottom side of my foregrip which enables me to keep a good grip on this grip without slipping off. I quite like the use of paracord on my rifles. It enables me to give a good feeling about them and they're easy to handle and easy to touch. And it just makes it look good in my opinion. I chose to use the walnut color for this because it gives a little bit of the uh, wooden color back in my tactical AK which is a touch I personally like. Another detail which you might have already seen is a little silver screw in the middle of my rifle which keep my front assembly together with my receiver. I needed this screw because I lost the original pin and wasn't able to find a replacement pin without buying a whole block. Luckily for me, how I lost this pin is recorded by a fellow YouTuber and friend, Accessed Entertainment. You can check out his channel by clicking the link in the description. External wise I nearly shown my entire replica, however I forgot one thing, or didn't forget it, but wanted to keep it for last. This is the stock of the AK. It is a custom made one that I designed myself and had it manufactured by a fellow airsofter. Once the design was pretty much completed with my own imagination and the help of the manufacturer Johnny. He was able to craft it out of steel and aluminum. The stock is kind of based on the Mad Bull A stock you see on some M4s. But it is made more robust so it more looks like it should be on an AK. I also outfitted this stock with paracord, just to give it a nice cheek rest and to bring back that old wooden color into a tactical AK. Internally the gearbox has been changed with some parts but it isn't really mentionable. 
the stock motor has been replaced with an SAS high torque one because I just like the snappy feel of an high torque motor. The hop up section is where I made my difference with my rifles. This one has been outfitted with an Orga Magnus 6.23 white bore barrel, as well as a G&G &G green bucking and a Retro Arms AK hop up unit with their flat up lever. All in all this rifle gives me around an output of 340 to 350 FPS when it's measured with 0.2 gram BBs. However, I currently shoot it with 0.3 or 0.33 gram BBs, which give me a range of around 75 to 80 meters. If you are interested in the externals of this gun, like the LCT or retro arm stuff, I advise you to check out the store of skirmshop.nl. They are highly skilled in selling aftermarket AK components. Also check out the shop of Airsoft Center. They also have a nice selection of externals and internals, like the Magpul grip or the GNG green bucking. And with that, this showdown is over. If you have any questions about this rifle, feel free to post a comment below. Or send me an email. Or just contact me whatever way you like it. For HDDR Entertainment, this was Rob and I hope to see you again.